Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. So I decided to collaborate with one of the artists that I really admire. Uh, Eugenia is a watercolor artist just like myself and she also teaches how to paint with watercolors. Uh, her style is a little different than mine and this is what has drawn me to her style actually is because she keeps things so much looser and she uses uh, a technique I normally don't use, which is dry brushing. And for that, she uses her calligraphy brushes. So um, we've been talking for a long time and we became friends. And this project has been really fun and opened up my eyes a little bit um, in terms of like, what I want to see if I'm the student. And so Eugenia recorded a class for me which is a seascape. It's actually uh, that one right there. Uh, that's my version there. Uh, but she prepared a class, so I followed her class and um, I painted for her a mushroom. And in just a moment, you will see our chat uh, via Zoom. And we talked a little bit about how we, what we learned from each other and how we liked the project itself. And uh, you can fast forward right away straight to the class and you can follow along um, in the big screen. You basically see me painting, but in a top right corner, that's Eugenia and she's the one that's talking and I'm following her class and I hope you can join us. Hi, Eugenia. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So nice to see you. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, when did you start painting with watercolors? Um, I'm painting from six years uh, old, uh, all my life. First of all, it was art school, and after it was art university. And uh, now I am watercolor artist and watercolor teacher. Uh, wow. What about you? Well, I started painting not too long ago compared to you. Um, I started in uh, basically like 2012. 2013, but I didn't start teaching until 2017. So that's when I started uh, recording classes. But um, I noticed that you do a lot of uh, wet on dry and mm -hmm. dry brushing. Uh, what type of a brush do you use for dry brushing? For the effect for like when you paint the rocks? Uh, rocks, uh, it's just a Chinese calligraphic brush like this because, just a moment, I will show you. Um, because I can uh, do uh, like like this shiny okay. brush. Oh, I see. It, it's easy, yes. And I, 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 I do like this. I'm using dust brush. But my paper is not... Uh, um, always uh, dry my paper is wet but uh, the water inside my paper I, I noticed that and I did that too I wetted the back side and I felt mm -hmm. like my paper was actually more wet than yours because I felt like you were already dry brushing underneath the horizon line and for me mm -hmm. I couldn't dry brush because everything was so wet <laughs> So I felt like my paper was just so like wet longer. And then when you started painting the water, mm -hmm. it felt mm -hmm. like uh, you were actually painting wet on dry, not wet on wet. So am I correct or was it still wet? It's different paper. It's different uh, air humidities. Yeah, I think it's just, it depends because I'm in California, so it's always dry. What did you think about the, my class? <laughs> Oh, it's um, very interesting, and uh, uh, I think that uh, all artists um, should to learn from each other because new technique, uh, new uh, thinking, it's uh, very important. It was really interesting, but it was difficult for me, <laughs> yes, because uh, very small details, um, <laughs> I usually um, uh, paint more freely, but uh, I tried. Uh, to uh, to paint your mushroom, it was difficult but very useful. Three mushrooms. <laughs> oh wow! You know what? I painted three of your seascapes. <laughs> <laughs> I but I liked it. I liked it so much that I painted it on a really big sheet, and uh, it was fun because I do paint seascapes. Like I do paint water. 
Um, but it was just different approach the way you were doing it. And I like mm -hmm. that even looser style that you have. So you kind of went much faster. And I do that too, because the paper dries fast, right? So we have to paint fast. But I like your uh, loose strokes. And loose. like, yeah, like when you paint the boat in the background, it was very quick. Mm, very quick. Yeah. Yes. 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 I, I, I don't have uh, enough time. That is why I <laughs> paint very quick, very quickly. That is why my technique so speedy and so freely. I think. No, I I totally get it, and and I, that's why I like like how you paint the landscapes and seascapes. Uh, do you use a uh, um, dry brush, dry stroke like uh, like me when you um when you draw, for example, birds or animals? Do no. you use uh, no, because everything, like, I try to do almost everything wet on wet. So mm -hmm. I always go for that soft, smooth effect. And if I have to add some an additional layer, then a lot of times it will be wet on dry. But I don't do much wet, a dry brushing because mm -hmm. I always go for, you know, like, soft, soft effect. So... <laughs> Yeah, like I do dry brushing when I paint like um, like doors, windows, walls, like architectural pieces. Then mm -hmm. I will do dry brushing, yes. And I will just use like a regular regular round brush. That's it. Thank you, Marie. It was a very good class. Uh, five words, please. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for your time, Eugenia. It was so much fun to talk to you. And um, yeah, let's get to the class. Hello, Maria. Hi, everyone. Let me introduce you my new lesson special for Maria Rotinska. I'm going to show you how I create this amazing seascape. I will tell you about my technique uh, and I really hope that you will enjoy this class and maybe you will learn something new and something uh, useful from me. It's a really important part of our process and I know two options for preparing um, paper and the first one is uh, to wet uh, back side of our paper using uh, flates from the gold and clean water and uh, let's start from the yellow part of the sky uh, I'm using Neapolitan yellow my movements from one age uh, to the other age. My movements uh, quick. And then add, let's add some rows, for example, rose opera. Uh, I'm painting um, by dry paper, as you can see, but uh, I use a lot of water. Now I'm adding a drop of blue and uh, white blue, for example, um, blue gray and blue like cyan. Uh, the touches must be very uh, soft. Uh, cobalt blue with uh, uh, with pink for the violet tone closer to the horizon line I mixed uh, three colors for this violet part it is uh, rose rose opera or carmine cobalt blue and uh, Neapolitan yellow. And uh, I tilt my uh, plastic board 
for blending my uh, colors. I don't like uh, three um, lines, blue, uh, yellow and rose. And I don't like this uh, scratching, you can see. Uh, these uh, scratches were um, caused by the fact that I uh, pressed the brush hard. I need to press uh, the brush more softly. Okay, let's start it uh, painting the uh, sea. Uh, I'm using emerald green and turquoise. More water and less pigments. A drop of uh, rose opera. Some more rose opera. And uh, I will combine somewhere more rose, somewhere more um, green. Uh, my movements um, must be fast, must be quickly and uh, freely. Uh, closer to the horizon line, my brush uh, will be without water, uh, dry brush, and you can see an um, interesting effect when I leave white paper, uh, like reflections. I don't touch to the horizon line uh, on the sky, because the sky is still uh, wet now. Uh, dry brush uh, give to us uh, this effect uh, like sun reflections. And let's continue to paint um, blue parts. Uh, I think it's uh, too much water on my paper and uh, I need to wait uh, a little because uh, as you can see the um, paint uh, spreading around too much in different directions. Um, that is why I uh, tilt my um, plastic board. And uh, let's add some Ohra or Sienna Natural to show uh, the sand underwater. And now I'm pre preparing um, thick pigment from um, turquoise, ultramarine, um, emerald green. Less water, more pigment for the dark lines under the waves. Uh, my strokes are very fast, as you can see it. Uh, maybe it will be better to take another brush, a uh, synthetic brush. Uh, there is uh, less water in synthetic. I'm uh, removing excess water uh, using towel in my uh, left hand. It's better to use uh, colors from the tubes, not from cuvette. And now I'm trying to make an even thicker and darker uh, pigment uh, for the stones underwater. Some more thin burn, um, violet, thin burn again and violet again. My violet color is uh, too uh, dry, it's not good. I hope your wallet is better. A drop of uh, carmine and see and burn again. Uh, maybe uh, the form of uh, stones in your painting will be more interesting and more, more beautiful.
a drop of ultramarine and now I'm painting uh, wet by wet paper and now there is uh, almost no water on my brush just thick pigment and synthetic brush of course I usually uh, use synthetic brush when I paint uh, by uh, wet paper and I um, usually use natural brush when I paint by dry paper. I'm uh, removing excess uh, water from my brush using towel in my left hand. It's important to create a uh, soft uh, lines of the waves. Um, I'm using squeeze out brush now. There is no pigment on my brush um, and uh, I'm create the white lines on the water. Let's continue to paint uh, a reflection from the uh, stones and stones uh, underwater. And uh, using a pressed brush, squeeze out brush, I'm removing excess pigment on the water. And under the waves. Somewhere. Uh, the um, pigment must be matte in this moment, not shine just matte and clean your brush uh, every time after stroke I am cleaning brush now and uh, do it again then I will clean and I will do it again every time. Uh, ultramarine thick pigment, sienna burn, a drop of carmine. I'm doing darker. Uh, thinner, thinner lines in the background. Uh, the lines uh, closer to the horizon line must be uh, thinner, uh, as uh, I said, and uh, lighter. Because uh, we need, uh, we must to show an aerial pers perspective. Perspective, yeah. Sorry for my English again. <laughs> and uh, we can do this um, until our paper will be dry, drier. Of course, uh, if uh, it's very hot in your room and low air humidity, you uh, will not enough time for uh, painting these lines, these waves. Uh, you need to stop uh, when it uh, when your paper will uh, get in uh, will get uh, dry. I remind you uh, that my paper still wet by 
by math, not shine. And uh, uh, I'm prepared dark um, colors. I'm darkening some parts in the shadow. Uh, the water uh, on the uh, right parts of my right part of my paper is a little more uh, dry and I can to paint uh, lines there. Some white lines again. You can paint the mountains on the background on absolutely dry paper or uh, you can uh, risk and to paint uh, on mm, not dry paper my paper is still a little uh, a little wet uh, but be careful if you uh, paint on wet paper there is a fear that your mountains will spread Maybe it will be better to wet or uh, to wait until um, paper will be absolutely dry. Uh, some more green somewhere. Some more dark blue. I removed excess water and now again I'm using uh, warmer colors. Sienna Natural, for example. And now the mm, hill in the left. Uh, this hill is more uh, warm. I use Sienna Natural and a drop of Carmine, also Sienna Burn, you can add. And uh, combine these cold tones, cold colors. I'm removing excess pigment uh, with brush with water from here. Uh, I'm I'm making softer hard lines. For example, maybe it is uh, some uh, smoke or um, fog. I'm taking Sienna Natural and violet, a drop of carmine, uh, sienna natural again, and, uh, and uh, now I'm painting just uh, the first layer, just the lightest parts of the stones, sienna burn, uh, the sun, uh, I think, uh, from the um, was from the right, and uh, this part of the stones more uh, warmer. 
I have forgotten to draw two puddles here. You can see the form of my brush. Uh, it is uh, shaggy. And I'm covering all, uh, all the stones. Somewhere more uh, rose, somewhere more sienna burn. And sienna natural. This reflection from the sky, I removed. I have removed. I have removed excess pigment and excess water using uh, fabric. You have seen this. As you can see, my brush uh, is uh, still shaggy. Uh, there is no water. I leave uh, somewhere uh, some dots, some points, and uh, uh, I have taken another brush uh, with uh, with uh, blue color. I want to paint um, reflection reflections from the stone. It's important for me to make a soft connection between uh, dark stones and reflection and reflections uh, from the stone. That is why uh, I uh, paint reflections immediately after I paint the stones while the stones are still wet. I'm, uh, I continue to paint dark parts the same colors shaggy dry brush I'm taking the uh, thin brush to show uh, texture of the stones and uh, cracks and continue uh, using big brush. A drop of carmine, sepia, Sienna burn. small brush again for the dark lines and small cracks
And now uh, I'm using palette knife. to create texture of the stones. Uh, I'm using just water now to smooth uh, stones on the background. And uh, now, uh, while um, our stones still wet, um, I I prepare in the colors from the reflections. Uh, blue, drop of carmine, sienna natural, sienna burn, and maybe uh, turquoise. Ultramarine and uh, I'm making soft connection between uh, the stones and the reflections. And some more details. Some more uh, gold colors. Ultramarine, Tickwise, Tickwise, more transparently, not very bright. Uh, and uh, I don't want. Uh, I want to um, paint the blue color, like uh, reflection from the sky, and then I will add some rose opera in the puddles. And some more details again. So, I think uh, our stones are done. And uh, now uh, we can paint the uh, ship on the um, horizon line. I want to paint, uh, paint uh, this uh, ship uh, use only one or two strokes without any detailize very easy very fast because it's not main her character in our painting And some uh, dots, some dark dots, but just a little.
now my patent is ready uh, yeah thank you for your attention and i wish you inspiration and creative success bye bye Okay, so that's it for this project. Uh, let me know if you liked it. I personally really had fun, a lot of fun following another teacher's class. And I have learned a few things. Uh, so it's, it was helpful because I know that I want to see things maybe up close sometimes and uh, something about colors. So it's just, it was a very good collaboration. And I'm really thankful for Eugenia uh, to do this with me. Uh, Eugenia lives on Cyprus. And so she's also in a sunny place all the time. So we both are inspired by our surroundings. She lives by the water, I live by the water. And I have been painting seascapes for a long time, but this was a different experience and I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for your time watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because that always helps with the algorithm of YouTube.